What's an OCR artifact? It's actually dumber than you think it'd be. People like, go, oh, man, like, I remember when I first looked at OCR, I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to have to understand all that. You're trying to read through the spec. It actually just boils down to pretty much these 23 lines of uh, JSON. So if you're ever curious, this is what a manifest looks like for OCI. So there's a couple key things to know about. The manifest is the, the main thing. When you say, like, pull, like, Debian latest, what you're getting first when you pull is this manifest. And this manifest describes what the media type is. Almost everything you're going to get is a media type of application VND OCI image manifest. Okay, that's, this, that's a specific uh, MIME type that we use for, uh, for container manifests. Then you have the artifact type. The artifact type in the, the latest version of the spec is what says, this is my type I'm going to use. In this case, this is the example type that they use. Uh, but we, you, in our case, we have tarballs, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, config lets you specify additional config for the thing that's, go that's going on. Uh, for what we use in Argo, we don't need the config type. We just use what's the standardized empty uh, config type. It's just, you know, open, close bracket, and that's it. If you've been in OCI long enough, you actually kind of know this SHA by memory. <laughs> but then you have the layers, and those layers describe each of the content. Those are blobs. And you have the annotations that Blake mentioned. There's a standard set of them that are under that org.opencontainers. Uh, namespace that give a rich set of metadata for UIs to consume. And you can see that inside of the cargo, inside the Argo UI and, um, when, we, when we do those things. So that's all that an OCI artifact is, is we're just instead of pushing a container file system at this layer, we push a tarball with the contents inside of it.